Hi my lovelies and welcome back to another monthly plan with me. This month, obviously January, I'll be using my January monthly kit from my January mystery kit. The kit I am showing you is my Mambi Glossy Kit. As I've mentioned before in my previous video, I'll be sticking to um, my Mambi's Happy Planner for this new year coming. I did at first thought I will do Erin Condren and switch it up this year, but then I really, really enjoyed using Mambi Happy Planner, so I'm just going to stick with Mambi Happy Planner. And that's what I'm used to, and I like planning with the pages out. Let's get started. For those who are new to my channel or is watching this monthly plan with me as their first video from my channel, most of my monthly kits are die cut style as you can see here. It's not like your straight cut rectangles and there's certain ways for you to place your sticker or certain orders that you have to place down. So that here I'm showing you the anchor corner. So firstly, you always do the blank boxes because my stickers do overlap each other. It depends on the month, but with this month, it will only overlap on the sidebar and not the blank dates. So here you just place the anchor down first and align it with the blank. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard to comment here when you're watching your own videos. but. It wasn't going down straight and I thought I could take it off, but it wouldn't come off, so I just said I might as well just bite the bullet and go. Anyways, after you place down your blank date box stickers, you do the sidebar. With my kits, you could build your own sidebar, so here you have goals and reminders and two ombre check boxes. There usually is a fifth one, but I left that one out because I've included a different sticker with this kit. So that's why it's left out. Also, a quick note that this sidebar is actually reformatted to fit the week the weekly spreads too. So it will fit the weekly spread, which was in my previous plan with me video. So with the month of January, I've decided to put my goals as the first sticker on top and then my reminders at the bottom and I'm just going to leave the middle blank because it does have lines and I could just use that as a note page, note, as for a note section or I could just cover it with sticker, but I like how this turned out. And lastly, the title page sticker. As I've mentioned before, my stickers are die cut, so please be gentle when peeling the sticker off the page. And I'm going to repeat that on the second page with the year sticker. Next, I like to put down my holidays. So this Happy New Year sticker was the sticker that replaced the fifth sidebar sticker. Instead of having the fifth sidebar sticker, I replaced it with the Happy New Year sticker. I know, I just repeated myself. After that, first thing first, it's my little guy's second birthday on the 5th of Thursday. So I'm just going to decorate that box with uh, my half box, my bowl half box. And I'm going to put some tassels there to make it look pretty like a celebration. And I'm going to find one of the cakes and place it inside the half box. After that, I'm going to indicate using one of my washi strip here to indicate the pre-sale of February Mystery Kit. So it's going to run from January 1st till January 8th. 
when I design or lay out the, the sticker sheets, there will be extra white space in the sheet and I hate wasting white space. So I decide to use that white space and put in the word happy birthday as a text for you guys to use and I really like it. I might just include that in my other mystery kit. So on the 11th, my little guy has his two-year-old checkup. And on the 9th, I have my physical exam and it's my little brother's birthday too. And we've decided to do a mini staycation from January 1st to the 3rd. We're just driving out of the city, literally less than an hour away <laughs> from the city. And we're just gonna stay in a little, um, it's another city. And we're just gonna explore that area. Next, I like to put down my bills sticker and my payday stickers. And then on to my garbage and recycling cycles. And I like to remind myself to change my bed sheets once every two weeks. And on the 17th, it's my little girl's turn to bring in the snacks for her class. So I have to remember that to get the snacks for her to bring into class that day. And I think that's it for January. So I'm going to place this Hello January sticker on this side because it seems pretty empty. I just want to balance my monthly spread out. So I just realized after filming this and just looking at my calendar, totally forgot about our wedding anniversary, which is on the 23rd. So I will have to add that in later myself. So I'm just going to decorate the spread with the extra decor decorative sticker that comes with the kit. I almost forgot to ink the spread. It's time to put it back into my new planner. I'm so in love with this new planner. I don't know if it's because it's new and it's a new design for me to look at, but it's just so rewarding and refreshing just to put in into a new planner. I don't know. I, I just don't know how to explain it, but I hope you guys enjoy this monthly plan with me, the first one for this planner, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye.